Hey guys and girls, how's it going? We are back. Today we're going to be doing um, an unboxing and taking a look at the Microbit Tinker Kit. This is from Alette Freaks. They've sent this over for me to review. So we're going to be taking a look at this. Um, so coming up on the channel, we do have the uh, how to make um, an Iron Man mask, uh, how to scale it in Armorsmith and some other tips and tricks. So do remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Um, we've also got, I've got the CR10 V2 that's coming in hopefully tomorrow. So I'll do a build on that. I'll do a video on how to fit the BL Touch with that as well. And hopefully the guys over at um, E3D are sending me the direct drive kit and um, the V6 hot end. So some very exciting things coming up. So today we are going to be taking a look at this. Um, we're going to get it unboxed and have a look and see if we can do the first um, little project in it. This is a really nice little kit. Um, okay, so it's by, like I said, it's by Elect Freaks. Um, it comes with so much stuff, so breakout boards, mini servos, OLD displays. So we'll, we'll go through this in a sec. So let's, um, let's zoom in, let's have a look at this and uh, see what we can do with it. Okay guys and girls, so this is the Microbit Tinker Kit, it's by Elect Freaks and it's part of their Tinker Academy. Um, it says start your digital maker journey with the Microbit. The Tinker Kit comes with a custom breakout board, a library of easy to use electronic components and a variety of fun DIY electric, uh, by electronic projects. Um, to find out more please visit Elect Freaks. So if we have a look at the box, so it lists on the box what you get. So you get a breakout board, mini servo, OLED display. AD keyboard, passive buzzer, uh, analog rotation, soil moisture sensor, PIR sensor, crash sensor, and three times color LEDs. So let's have a look in the box. So we've got a little booklet. Let me take a look at this first. So this looks pretty cool. So uh, Electric Stink Academy. Uh, hello, I'm the Microbit. So it gives a little description of the Microbit. Uh, explains about make code and what make code is. We'll go through that in a bit. What's on the Microbit? The compass, Bluetooth, reset button, etc. And then it tells you about the stuff that's in the box. Breakout board LED explains what each one of these things is. And then it's got some projects. And we're, I'm going to run through the projects, do some video tutorials for you on those. Um, I'll get uh, hopefully get those done today and get one up a day for you. I'll do each video as a project. I'm not going to run through the whole book as a single video um, period because I think that would be boring for you. And this way you can pick and choose which videos you want to show your students or you want to use for yourself. So let's have a look at the contents of the actual box. Okay, so this is all the components. So you can see we've got the PIR sensor, we've got the, the well they're calling it a crash sensor, essentially it's just a little little switch. Um, I'm guessing that sound, that's a little buzzer. We've got three LEDs, we've got the soil moisture sensor, that could be interesting. Um, we've got some a little button board with uh, five buttons on, we've got the LED display and then the breakout board. And then inside we've got some other bits, we've got um, a servo, some different uh, cable connectors, and then a couple of other bits. So we've got a battery case for the uh, micro bit and a cable. Um, it doesn't come with a micro bit, you see. You're going to need your own micro bit for this, but that's that's not too bad. Um, yeah, so let's get started with the first project. We'll take a look and see what the first project is and what we're going to need for it. Okay, so we're going to start with the, the first project, and this is the music machine. So you're going to need your micro bit, and we're going to need some bits from the kit. So we're going to need the breakout board, which is this thing here. And we're going to need the buzzer. So I've got a buzzer here. Let's so get this out. There's the buzzer. And you're going to need some cables. You need probably two cables. Ah, there's the little log switch. Cool, right. So 
here is a cable, we need another cable, two cables. Uh, you're going to need the button board and we need to get it all connected up. So the micro bit goes into the breakout board. Like so, and we need to connect this to our computer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got a little USB extension I'm going to use as well, just because my computer is quite far away. So I can get this plugged in. Okay, and plug that in. Okay. So and that's plugged in there. And we need to connect up the uh, the buttons and the cables. Okay, so to do that, um, we're gonna plug the AD keypad into pin two. So this is the A this is a keypad. So we take our cable, pop that into there, like so. And this is gonna go into pin two. So on the on the breakout board you can see it's 0, 1 and then 2. Um, you want to make sure that the cables line up like so. So you'd have yellow, red and uh, black like so there. Okay so that's that connected and you're also going to want to put the buzzer into pin 0. So we take the buzzer, we connect that up again. There's only one way these can go in so don't don't worry too much. And that goes into pin zero. Again, with the yellow at the top. Okay, and that's that's what you should have. So you should have the buzzer, the button board plugged in, so the buzzer into pin zero, the button board into pin two, the micro bit in the breakout board, and the USB connected to your computer. So that's that all set up and ready to go. We now need to program it. So we're going to jump over to the computer and have a look at the how we program this. Okay, so we're on the Make Code website and we're going to click New Project. And the first thing we want to do is go to Advanced and then down to Extensions. And then here we're going to type in Tinker and we're going to search. And then we want to install the Tinker Academy Tinker Kit. Click that and you'll now get the Tinker Academy button which will appear here. Um, we're now going to get rid of the on start and we're going to have forever. So all the time the micro bit's working we want it to do something. And what we want it to do is we're going to, I'm going to get it to display a little icon. Um, we'll do something like a little heart. Just so that there's an image on the screen and we know that our code's on there and no issues there we go okay so we're then going to use conditional statements to get the buttons to to do something so uh, we can go down to logic and we want a if statement so we are going to put this um, underneath our heart and we're going to say we don't want if true then do something so we want to replace this true I'm going to come down to Tink Academy and we're going to grab uh, if key is pressed so if key a is pressed on the AD keyboard at pin zero, do something. So we're gonna pop that into here. And you can see that's locked in fine. Now where our AD keyboard is not on uh, pin zero. So if you remember, we plugged our AD keyboard into pin two. So we wanna make sure that the correct pin is selected. So if it's pressed on pin two, then do something. So what do we want it to do? Well, if we um, have a look under music, we can get it to, to play something. So we're gonna grab uh, play tone. Uh, you can see there that that's, take that out, because obviously that's, as soon as we do that, it's gonna start playing. So we're gonna say if, uh, a is pressed on AD keyboard pin 2 then play tone 175 for one beat okay and that's a low F so we'll pop that in there 
Okay. Okay, then we're going to repeat this. We're going to repeat this block. So we're going to just duplicate it. And we're going to pop that onto there. And then we're going to say if key B is pressed uh, on AD keyboard pin 2, then we're not going to play low F. We're going to play 196, okay, which is a low G. And then we're going to duplicate again. So we'll duplicate the code again. Okay, and if button C is pressed on the keyboard, I'm just going to stop that from simulating. Okay, uh, if key C is pressed on the keyboard pin two, then we're going to want two two zero. Okay, and that's a low A. Okay, and remember we've got five buttons, so we're going to do this twice more. So then if C if button D is pressed on AD keyboard pin 2, then we're going to play 247. And again, we'll duplicate, right click, duplicate. And if E is pressed on the keyboard pin 2, we're going to play 262. And that's our code, that's ready to go. So what we can do is we can download our code, a little hex file, and we can drag this into the microbit. We can upload this to the microbit, but I haven't, um, this is a new microbit I got, so I haven't updated the firmware. So if I do that, I'll just get an error. If you want this to work just by uploading by pressing the button, then check out my other video on how to update the microbit firmware. And that will help you out quite a lot. Um, at the moment, though, I'll just do it the quick way, which is to uh, bring up the micro bit, which is here. And then I'll just drag and drop onto the micro bit. Okay, and that's good, that's ready to go, microbit's restarted. So now let's check out what we've actually got working on the microbit. Okay, so we've flashed the microbit, and you can see that our heart's on there now, so we can see that our code's been transferred to microbit and seems to be working. Um, we've got the buzzer, and we've got our set of buttons. So every time we push uh, one of these buttons, we should get a sound. So we'll start with A, B, D. And that's it, so that's working. So one of the things you could do with this is, um, if you're quite good with music, you could do uh, some notes and be able to play a little song on there. Um, yeah, I'm not great, I can play a few things, but... But yeah, that's pretty cool. So um, that's the first little project. Um, I'll upload the next project hopefully tomorrow. And you can see what you think.